Hello, I'm James, and I like to colourise old photographs. And today, I'm going to be both restoring and colouring this photograph of a woman wearing a court jester's outfit from roughly 1920. I'm not sure if this costume was intended for a stage production, a fancy dress party, or if this young woman was just really dedicated to alternative fashion. What I am sure of, however, is that this restoration began life as a small, last-minute project for Halloween, and has, upon completion, become one of my favourite colouring projects yet. The restoration of this image was relatively straightforward, but still rather time-consuming. As you can see, this image was absolutely covered in dust and small scratches. To fix both of these, I used the healing brush tool in Photoshop to sample localised, non-damaged areas to repair the image with. In addition to the dust and scratches, this image was also unfortunately suffering from silvering, which required targeted brightness adjustments to rectify. With the repairs done, I then worked to correct the slightly faded contrast levels of the photograph. I pulled down the shadows in the image and pulled up the, what should be, bright highlights until the image looked more correctly exposed. With the image repaired, and the brightness adjusted, I was finally able to move on to the colouring process. When approaching this image, I had a bit of internal conflict as to which colours to use for the Jester costume. Historically speaking, Jesters have usually been depicted in old paintings and illustrations wearing some combination of yellow and red, although in more modern era depictions, they are often shown wearing yellow and green. Both possible colour combinations may have been used at the time this picture was taken. However, given the relatively medieval inspired design of her costume, I decided that the older red and yellow colour combination was probably the more likely used of the two. This was a generally really fun picture to work on, as it contains a lot of fine elements to colour. As much as I personally enjoy working on small details just from a perfectionist point of view, it's also the small details which help to sell a colourisation. I felt a personal responsibility to capture all the elements of this costume in particular, since it's actually quite possible that this outfit was homemade by the jester herself. Thinking about her possible late nights stitching bells onto this hood really encouraged me to make sure that I returned colour to them all, for example. Sometimes it's especially clear that a lot of care went into the original photograph, and this is one such time. The effort put into the production of this woman's costume was captured beautifully by the original photographer. The only thing they were unfortunately unable to capture was the colour vibrancy of the original outfit. I wonder if they had any thoughts at the time about how sad it was that the colour from the outfit would not be captured in the photograph, or if that's just me thinking about the shoot with modern eyes, coming from an era when black and white photography now requires more effort than colour photography to produce, even if that more effort is usually just swiping to switch on a filter. While sometimes I question the merits of colouring a picture, this was definitely not one of those times. I have absolutely no doubt that had colour photography been readily available during this era, both the sitter and photographer would have opted to use it for this photograph. There's something really interesting to me about colouring old photographs of costumes. Since this photograph was taken, these jester outfits have drifted another hundred years further back into the past. Not only that, but the outfits from the era of this photograph are now novelty costumes themselves. You can walk into any fancy dress shop and find a flapper dress inspired by the 1920s, for example. It makes me wonder what outfits from today will be worn to the hip and happening parties of a hundred years from now. All I can hope is that some young person is still trying to bring jester-based fashion back into the mainstream. Thank you very much for watching. If you're a new viewer to my videos, I have other colorizations up on this channel and more planned for the future if you'd like to subscribe. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this restoration, and also if there's a person or topic you'd like to see me add some colour to. 
Thanks again.